That was once a car. Obviously there are sandbags right here so that God forbid there was an explosion. We're just looking around at all the destruction. Weapons that were used People lived here. As you can see, there are bullet holes pockmarked. Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Kiev, Ukraine. I slept very well. After 18 hours in the car yesterday, I was, uh, I had it. So. Thank God slept well. Now we're heading over to the synagogue for Shachris, for the morning prayer. There are some Jews gathered there to pray. And apparently they're waiting for us because they need a minion. You're supposed to have 10 men praying together and there's only eight over there. So we're just heading over. It's right across the street. Take a look. <laughs> okay. <sighs> to squeeze through that fence, but I'm okay. Made it out. And now we pray. Today I'm gonna pray with extra gratitude. We survived the night. There were ear raid sirens, but thank God. So we are just getting ready to leave Kiev and now we are heading to the city of Bucha where there was uh, some terrible things happened there during this war. There's a lot of destruction, a lot of people were killed and uh, we're gonna go take a look around and see what's left. So we have just arrived to this big building and this is the Bucha district uh, government administration and we're going to go inside and meet with some important officials and talk about what went on here in the Bucha district. So I'm seated here with Mr. Mikola Lashenko. He is the head of the Bucha District Military Administration. And we're in his office right now, which was actually once upon a time, not so long ago, this room and the entire building was occupied by the Russians. As you can see, the windows over here, there's a large window that's been covered with, uh, looks like black garbage bags to keep the light from going out. So at night, no one knows that anyone's inside. Obviously there are sandbags right here so that God forbid there was a, an explosion no shrapnel would fly and it could hopefully protect the people in the room. He just explained to us a lot about what happened here in the Bucha district 
uh, throughout the war. And uh, now we're going to head into another place in the building where they're going to show us a little museum that they started, which showed the atrocities that went on here in Bucha. Маленький музей эхо войны. Вот эти вещи были здесь, на нашей территории на Вот это вот здесь на нашей территории, там возле службы. So these are all elements of um, weapons that were used against the Ukrainian people over here. This is part of a ground missile and this has all been collected and uh, it's going to be put into a museum where they're going to showcase the atrocities that went on here. Thank you. Okay, so this is uh, Mr. Dennis. He is uh, deputy head of the administration over here in Bucha district. He actually is Jewish and a proud Jew, and he is going to be giving us a tour of Bucha. So we are here in Bucha. We're just looking around at all the destruction. It's, it's wild. That was once a car. And this too. People lived here. Uh, metal from the wheels literally melted. This is straight into the sewer system. Look at this car, unbelievable. There's broken glass everywhere. I'm not really supposed to be hanging out in this area because there could be unexploded mines. I, I please don't go in because it's, it's, uh, it's danger because the means here yeah. the war is was inside in, in every every meter and please don't go in. Okay. As you can see, there are bullet holes, pockmarks all over. 
from all the fighting that went on here. So many people have been displaced from where they lived. Makes you think, why is all this necessary? Why can't people just live in peace? This is a shopping center in Buta that's been completely wrecked. Take a look. Okay, okay, okay. So, I want to go inside, take a look at what's happening inside the building, but the security forces won't let me in, so I don't think that's going to work right now. 10 min popal. Net for my crane. 10 min. 10 min. Oh, here? You can see that something fell right here. So this is Borodyanka, which also saw a lot of intense fighting during the conflict. And everywhere on this whole street, entire apartment buildings have been destroyed. Um, you can see items that were owned by families who lived here hanging out of the debris look at this so if you look at this building right there there's a washing machine and a chest of plastic drawers hanging out it's about to fall there is so much so much ruin This is the entrance to a building that was completely destroyed. There are so many more like it. I'm not going to get too close to this one because there could be falling debris anywhere. As you see there are many pieces hanging right off the building and I wouldn't want to get hurt. So this clearly was a dentist's office. No more. Again, I don't want to go too deep in because there could be unexploded bombs, there could be falling debris, but you get the picture. Terrible situation. So. We are now driving across a bridge that was blown up during the conflict, so I guess they repaired it, but not all the way, which is why it has this big dip in the middle. And we are now in a place called Dimitrovka, 
where there are many many destroyed Russian tanks take a look Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Stay safe, yes? Yes. Ooh, <laughs> that was close.